Looking to make some cash? Cash? There's good money in selling clothes that you don't wear anymore. It is spring cleaning for your closet. Here's Courtney Garage with more. Courtney. Mike and Carol searching for a great deal. It's almost like a sport. And these days, a lot of people are finding those deals when they shop resale. As one local woman knows, you can also score a great deal when you sell your stuff. Like this doesn't fit anymore. That's gone. Lindsay Evans is in full blown organized mode. Pregnant with baby number four, when we caught up to her, Lindsay was purging the kids' closets. Goodbye to the three T clothes. She's made a lot of money selling what no longer fits. I've made about $800. Lindsay uses ThreadUp, an online resale site. They send you clean out bags for free, and there's no cost to ship them back. And with so many bodies to clothe, Lindsay has put some of her earnings back into the resale site. Yeah, this was a dress that I bought on ThreadUp for her. But she didn't used to shop this way. Lindsay's attitude has changed over the years. Everything had to be new. I didn't want any hand-me-downs, <laughs> any used clothes. This. But then when the twins came and I needed double boy clothes, and then I just started to get a little thriftier. Many people are following suit, which means there's a market for pre-owned stuff, especially popular brands. When you drop off clothes at Rethreads in Shorewood, you get paid in cash the same day. It's Six and thirty. Thank you. And you're all set. Thank you. Have a good day. It's thirty percent of the resale price for clothes customers want. We kind of buy based off of what we see people who actually shop here, like what they look for. Manager Naja Anwar says people have more to sell than they can handle. When we first opened here, uh, we were allowing people to bring in as much as they wanted to, so that was kind of ridiculous. Now it all has to fit in this laundry basket. And a new concept to cleaning out your closet is all about community. It, it's online rummaging. Dawn Gardner Casper and Annie Monahan started resale pages on Facebook. And I'm a big purger. I just like that feeling of cleansing. Only for Shorewood and surrounding areas, Shorewood Kids Cycle and Women's Cycle are a hit. People put high-end like Louis Vuitton and Kate Spade and things like that. And people sell things from Target and Kohl's. Don and Annie are both busy moms. They wanted to make it easy for other women to purge and purchase. But their bigger goal, to bring people and their stuff together. What a great way to build a community and meet other moms. And also score a good deal. I mean, it's really amazing. Like, people just want to clean out their closets. Something Lindsay's doing one bag at a time. Because every time I throw well, community resale groups are popular in cities around Wisconsin. Some groups also make it a point to give back, like those Shorewood sites we mentioned. Instead of selling their clothes, members often donate them to people in need. Oh, Courtney, what kind of money can you make selling your old stuff? On average, you're going to get 30 to 40 percent of the resale price. Thread up that online site mm -hmm. for the really high end stuff. You can make up to 80 percent. Anybody do men's clothes? Because I might have a bunch of suits and ties. This is after true. Next week. You know what? Give them to me. <laughs> Don't remind us. Take off some. <laughs> Depressing. Depressing. Okay. I'll handle that for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we